Alright, now that I've got the overall shape of the toe stop drawn, I'm going to go ahead and add in the counter bore and the counter sink. And again, I'm looking at the help sheet provided, and this bottom part right here actually gives me some information on how to do that counter sink and also how to do the hole that I'm going to put through here. The counter bore, I've got all the information that I need just from the original sketch. So back to my drawing, looking at that sketch. Let's start with let's start with the counter sink since that's what the sketch has. So I'm going to start with my ISO circle, that's the ellipse command, start type I when that command first starts. It wants the center of the ISO circle and if I hover near this um, ISO circle here I can get that center O snap. Press F5 to get the ISO top and let's see this one has a diameter of or a radius of 2 no, I'm sorry, a radius of one point. D for diameter, we're going to draw two of them. One is 1.50, I for ISO circle, and this next one is D, enter, two. So those are the two different ISO circles that I need. What I need to know now though is what depth am I going to pull this down. If you've done this, uh, if you've already drawn this out in your uh, detailed drawing, then you can just measure it from there. But it looks like they've got actually a measurement here. So we're just going to transfer the depth of the counter bore. We're going to take that small diameter and we're just going to move it down a depth of 0.28. So I'm going to come back over here and do the move command. Take this guy and just bring it straight down. Make sure your ortho's on. And when I when I do the move or copy command and I'm in isometric, I always exaggerate how far, just in the direction that I want to go. So no O snaps try to override what I'm doing here. And I'm going to type in 0.28 and just trim out that little piece. And voila, I've got a counter sink. The next step I'm going to do is to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put that, that hole that's going to go right through here. So I need to figure out where the center of that hole is. And again, I'll drag this over so you can see. What I'm going to do is draw just a construction line from the center all the way out. And then from that point, I'm going to bring it straight down 1.25. And then I can put my ISO circle there. So I'm going to do the line command. And actually, if, if, uh, since I've already got this drawn, really I can take the line from here because that's, that's the same. I'll go ahead and draw it out, but coming from the end point of this original line is the same as drawing that construction line there. So we could have saved that one extra step of that line that I just drew. And let's see, 1.25. Now I can erase out this line. And right here is where I'm going to put my new ISO circle. So ellipse, I for ISO circle, start it here and just keep hitting F5 until you get your ISO left. And let's see, that's a diameter of 0.55 and that's it. Got this little guy right here and the next step that I need to do is this counter bore back here. So with that counter bore, I'm going to go back to my ISO circles and I've got two different diameters that I've given. One is a diameter of 0.812, one is a diameter of 1.812. So started the ellipse command, I for ISO circle. I need to get it right in the center here. The easiest way to do that is if you do shift right click to get a temporary O snap, I'm going to choose that mid between two points, which is a really cool O snap. I'm going to click here click here and see it's starting my ISO, ISO circle right at the midpoint between those two places that I just clicked. F5 to get the right ISO circle and this time I'm going to type in D enter for diameter 1.812. Got one more to draw. I for ISO circle and I'm going to start it right at that same center point and this time D enter 0.812. Kind of zoom in a little bit here. So I've got the different circles that I need. Now I need to get the depth. So I'm going to do my um, copy command. 
and I'll copy both of these. Actually, I could have even waited to draw that circle until I had actually copied the bigger one down, but anywhere for a base point, it doesn't really matter where you choose. And F5, I'm going to bring it down, and again, you know, I like to exaggerate how far I bring it, so no O snaps override what I'm trying to do here, and I'm going to type in a depth of 0.186. I'm going to erase out this top one just to alleviate confusion. So I took the bigger circle, the smaller circle, and I made a copy straight down 0 .81, 0 0.186, erased out that top circle, and now I'm just going to come through here and trim. So I'll just press enter, and let's just trim away. Trim out all of this stuff. And I've got it. So I've got my counter sink, I've got my counter bore, and I've got my through hole. And that's it. The next step that I'm going to do is, let's see, next video I'll go ahead and make the cleat pin.